Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today is January 21st and I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on after I had the baby. Uh, the baby was born January 17th. So it's been about four days now since he's been born and he's been doing really good still breastfeeding and i'm gonna stick to breastfeeding i'm strictly going to breastfeed right now he is being breastfed every two to three hours no 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 i guess like every one and a half to two hours just depends on how he looks if he's uh, he looks like he's hungry or like after a nap then I go ahead and feed him um, right now the kids are out of school for uh, the MLK holiday so they uh, are spending some time here with me and the baby my husband had to work today so um, we're just here I'm trying to do just trying to spend some time with them uh, before they go back to school tomorrow. So here's Bradley. Say hi. hi. Want to see all my math questions I got done? So he's working on some math problems and hi. there's Sky. Hi. Sky is reading a book. Let's see. So this is the book that Sky is reading now. That's Pinkalicious. That's right. And Bella is working on some alphabet. Say hi. So he, she's working on some alphabet activities and that I have her doing. It's a little alphabet book and she's matching all the ABCs um, on this little book and then it comes with more picture activities that she can work on. Uh, it says match the picture with the letter. So she's learning her ABCs and she's working on that at the moment and then I have a couple of other things that they're going to be doing like more puzzles and more activities just to kind of um, keep them occupied and busy and let the baby get some sleep. I have a couple of friends that a uh, couple of friends that would like to come and visit him and s meet him. So I dressed him up. Hi, you're waking up. Hi. He's waking up and as you can see, I dressed him up. <laughs> it's a newborn outfit that a friend of mine gave me for my baby shower and it barely fit him for being a 10 pounder, 10 pound baby. So it barely fit him, and he looks so cute in it. Very handsome little boy. So <laughs> there he is, just looking around. <laughs> and so he's barely opening his eyes. Today he is four days old, and he's a good baby. He sleeps all night, well, most of the night. He doesn't cry a whole lot and um, he's doing really good. I'm trying to keep him on a sleeping schedule so that he'll stick to that schedule and he'll be able to let mommy sleep a little during the night time. So, yep, this is him, little Wesley Jr. So I will check back with you guys later. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to sit down and give you guys a little update on my newborn baby um today he is a week old i'm very excited to finally have him and um i'm just very very happy um 
and so I wanted to make a video to update you guys on what my son or how my son is doing and the little things that I've noticed for the first week that he's been here so my son was born January 17th which was a week ago exactly a week ago and for those of you that saw my labor and delivery video um, you guys noticed that he is a uh, almost a 10 pound baby and he um, is doing really good he's breast being breastfed strictly breastfed um, but these couple of days I noticed that he has diarrhea he has stomach problems and I don't know if the breast milk is causing that or if um, it's normal for newborns but to be quite honest with you I didn't have any of those problems with my other pregnancy so um, makes me wonder if maybe the breast uh, milk is not good for him or maybe I just need to uh, wait and talk to his doctor because um, I just feel very sad for him because like as soon as I feed him I notice that he starts cramping and I don't know if his stomach hurts and he gets cramps due to the milk or um, like I said if it's just the normal thing um, I don't know comment down below if you if you've been through this with your newborn baby um, other than that he's doing pretty good he, he's feeding every hour and a half to two and a half hours um, just mostly when I when I see that he's awake and he's um, crying and putting his hands in his mouth that's basically a sign that he's, he's ready to be breastfed if not I wake him up every two to three hours and feed him um, but he's doing great right now I have him sitting on his swing and he's very comfortable I swaddled him and he's just very very comfortable he did really good at his doctor's appointment he did very very good um, he lost a couple of ounces other than that he did really good I'm gonna go ahead and hold him so you guys can. Here he is. I had to pick him up. He's crying. So I'm gonna have to do what all mothers do when the babies get start crying and start getting fuzzy. So I've been on my own. I haven't relying on anyone to come and help um thank god the first couple of days i was getting help with a family member um but now that it's been a week i've just basically been on my own and my husband's been helping me a lot with picking up and dropping them off at school and um i'm very happy that he's able to help because it's a lot of work um, having two children at different schools and different times um, my daughter is in pre-k so she goes half a day to school and then my son like I said he's in a different school so um, yeah it's a lot of work and then I also have a three-year-old that stays here at home with me so we stay pretty busy um, and now that we have a baby it's even more work so which I'm very happy because um, you know I've always wanted a big family and I I'm finally 
able to say, okay, I um, have my kids, I t I'm taking care of them, I'm watching them grow, and um, which reminds me that um, I am going to tie my tubes in about six weeks, I have my appointment, and which means that the factory is closed, we won't be having any more kids. Um, and that's just a decision that we, you know, that we decided to to do because we already have two boys and two girls. So that's all we need. Um, four is enough for me. Um, gosh, they're just, they're so easy to have. Like, I don't think I ever had any complications on any of my pregnancy. Um, other than, you know, the miscarriages that I had. Um, but gosh, like, it's, I can't explain to you how easy it was to give birth on, with all four of my kids. Oh, wow. <laughs> they just had gas. So, like I was saying, it was so easy to give birth with all four of my pregnancies so easy that every time I have a baby I always say I want another one or you know because it's so easy um, to give birth like I feel like I have them quick and I don't I don't um, I'm not like other women that have you know difficulties giving birth or they're there for hours in their labor um, me, I have them quick, and when I say quick, I mean quick. Um, like with this one, when I got to the hospital, I was already like five and a half centimeters dilated, and then next thing I know is I'm nine and a half centimeters dilated, and then of course I gave birth right away. So with my other pregnancies, it's the same thing. Um, I had them within. A couple of hours and um, so each time that I have a baby I'm always like gosh I want another one or you know because it's so easy um, being pregnant though it's not it's not easy because it's pregnant yeah I mean I had a couple of uh, days where I was sick or you know certain things that I couldn't do and uh, of course at the end of the pregnancy i had um just discomforts everybody has discomforts you know everybody has something that they go through in their preg during their pregnancy um i know a lot of women that are sick and have nausea all nine months luckily that wasn't me um but like i said um if I could, I would have another baby, but I know that I have a lot in my plate already. So I'm not trying to get pregnant anytime. And so I'm going to have my tubal procedure to tie my tubes and not rely on birth control or condoms. I'm just going to tie my tubes and get it over with a lot of people may have different opinions a lot of people may be against tying their tubes or a lot of people may be against using birth control not me um, I think I already have too much on my plate and I'm just ready to watch my children grow and um, just let them grow together in age and um, enjoy them so that's my plan and I'm going to be having my tubal surgery in about five weeks so I'm ready to do that and that's gonna be another probably another hard week for me because I'm gonna have to wait to recuperate and I have to rely on my husband's help which Right now he's doing really good because he owns a small business. 
so he doesn't have like a schedule that he has to keep he has his own schedule and he can leave whenever he wants and I don't have to worry about that so um, that's awesome and I'm so grateful that he's helping me right now with with my other kids so anyway this was just a quick chit chat um, I just wanted to let you guys know how we're doing and even though it's a small channel I know most of you watch my videos and are always um, looking out for for more videos so if this is your first time watching any of my videos and um, then welcome um, uh, we plan on vlogging more often um, it's just a beautiful way of keeping your memories and making memories with maybe in this case a newborn uh, or with the other kids or just with your family you know it's it's fun and it's great to keep memories um, so that's the whole purpose of me vlogging and um, every now and then do a shopping haul or two and show you guys um, what being a mother of four under seven years old is and say hi come over here and say hi, hi. so here's sky mm -hmm. what does your shirt say hey. stand up stand up stand up so you can see your shirt it says little miss sis little miss sis oh <laughs> Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Look at the camera. Say hi. Hi. My blue-eyed girl. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Okay. So this is it for you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. A wonderful weekend. And I will have more videos for you guys coming up. And this is little, little Wesley. <laughs> AKA Little Max. So, oh, look at him. He's yawning, opening his eyes. <laughs> Gosh, he sleeps all day. So, that was it for today's video. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Hello, handsome. How was your day? Good. Oh, how was your day at school? Good. Was it? You yeah. look so um, handsome. Yeah, um, um, guys, I can't. How was your it. picture day? Good. See, take off your coat. Can I say hi? Oh, you look so handsome. Hi. Um, I, um, I, everybody in the hallway, in the hallway yeah. looks. I'm saying damn sharp. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Did everyone else dress up? Yes. Yeah. Mommy. You look so cute Mom. and handsome. <laughs> How did you smile on your picture? Show me. How did you smile? Wow. So handsome. And you? How was your day? Daddy gave me candy in the bed. <gasps> he gave you candy? Yeah. He gave me this one. What did you do to earn it? Uh, to be good and nice to people. Oh, that's good. Um, 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 Did you get candy too? Um, yeah, um, he, um, he, um, he gave it to us just for free wine. Oh, and you said thank you? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. And you, your little missus? <laughs> and, how, and how about the baby, Maxie? He's doing good. <laughs>